Creator's Son, he might preside over any high universe council, but would not otherwise participate in the executive affairs of the universe, except as requested. This ambassador of paradise to Nebadon is not subject to the jurisdiction of the local universe government. Neither does he exercise authoritative jurisdiction in the executive affairs of an evolving local universe, except in the supervision of his liaison brethren, the Faithfuls of Days, serving on the headquarters of the constellations. The Faithfuls of Days, like the Union of Days, never proffer advice or offer assistance to the constellation rulers unless it is asked for. These paradise ambassadors to the constellations represent the final personal presence of the stationary sons of the Trinity functioning in advisory roles to the local universes. Constellations are more closely related to the super-universe administration than local systems, which are administered exclusively by personalities native to the local universe. 6. General Administration Gabriel is the chief executive and actual administrator of Nebadon. Michael's absence from Salvington in no way interferes with the orderly conduct of universe affairs. During the absence of Michael, as recently on the mission of reunion of Orvant and Master Sons on Paradise, Gabriel is the regent of the universe. At such times, Gabriel always seeks the counsel of Emmanuel of Salvington regarding all major problems. The father Melchizedek is Gabriel's first assistant. When the bright and morning star is absent from Salvington, his responsibilities are assumed by this original Melchizedek son. The various sub-administrations of the universe have assigned to them certain special domains of responsibility. While, in general, a system government looks after the welfare of its planets, it is more particularly concerned with the physical status of living beings, with biologic problems. In turn, the constellation rulers pay a special attention to the social and governmental conditions prevailing on the different planets and systems. A constellation government is chiefly exercised over unification and stabilization. Still higher up, the universe rulers are more occupied with the spiritual status of the realms. Ambassadors are appointed by judicial decree and represent universes to other universes. Consuls are representatives of constellations to one another and to the universe headquarters. They are appointed by legislative decree and function only within the confines of the local universe. From Salvington, broadcasts are simultaneously directed to the constellation headquarters, the system headquarters, and to individual planets. All higher orders of celestial beings are able to utilize this service for communication with their fellows scattered throughout the universe. The universe broadcast is extended to all inhabited worlds regardless of their spiritual status. Planetary intercommunication is denied only those worlds under spiritual quarantine. Constellation broadcasts are periodically sent out from the headquarters of a constellation by the chief of the constellation fathers. Chronology is reckoned, computed, and rectified by a special group of beings on Salvington. The standard day of Nebadon is equal to 18 days and 6 hours of Urantia time, plus 2 and 1 half minutes. The Nebadon year consists of a segment of the time of universe swing in relation to the Uversa circuit, and is equal to 100 days of standard universe time, about five years of Urantia time. Nebadon time, broadcast from Salvington, is the standard for all constellations and systems in the local universe. Each constellation conducts its affairs by Nebadon time, but the systems maintain their own chronology, as do the individual planets. The day in Cetania, as reckoned on Jerusalem, is a little less, one hour, four minutes, fifteen seconds, than three days of Urantia time. These times are generally known as Salvington or Universe time and Satania or System time. Standard time is Universe time. 7. The Courts of Nebadon The Master Son, Michael, is supremely concerned with but three things, 
creation, sustenance, and ministry. He does not personally participate in the judicial work of the universe. Creators never sit in judgment on their creatures. That is the exclusive function of creatures of high training and actual creature experience. The entire judicial mechanism of Nebadon is under the supervision of Gabriel. The high courts, located on Salvington, are occupied with problems of general universe import and with the appellate cases coming up from the system tribunals. There are 70 branches of these universe courts, and they function in seven divisions of ten sections each. In all matters of adjudication, there presides a dual magistracy, consisting of one judge of perfection antecedents and one magistrate of ascendant experience. As regards jurisdiction, the local universe courts are limited in the following matters. 1. The administration of the local universe is concerned with creation, evolution, maintenance, and ministry. The universe tribunals are, therefore, denied the right to pass upon those cases involving the question of eternal life and death. This has no reference to natural death as it obtains on Urantia, but if the question of the right of continued existence, life eternal, comes up for adjudication, it must be referred to the tribunals of Orvanton and if decided adversely to the individual, all sentences of extinction are carried out upon the orders and through the agencies of the rulers of the super-government. 2. The default or defection of any of the local universe sons of God, which jeopardizes their status and authority as sons, is never adjudicated in the tribunals of a son. Such a misunderstanding would be immediately carried to the super-universe courts. 3. The question of the readmission of any constituent part of a local universe, such as the local system, to the fellowship of full spiritual status in the local creation, subsequent to spiritual isolation, must be concurred in by the high assembly of the super-universe. In all other matters, the courts of Salvington are final and supreme. There is no appeal and no escape from their decisions and decrees. However unfairly human contentions may sometimes appear to be adjudicated on Urantia, in the universe justice and divine equity do prevail. You are living in a well-ordered universe, and sooner or later you may depend upon being dealt with justly, even mercifully. 8. The Legislative and Executive Functions On Salvington, the headquarters of Nebadon, there are no true legislative bodies. The universe headquarters worlds are concerned largely with adjudication. The legislative assemblies of the local universe are located on the headquarters of the 100 constellations. The systems are chiefly concerned with the executive and administrative work of the local creations. The system sovereigns and their associates enforce the legislative mandates of the constellation rulers and execute the judicial decrees of the high courts of the universe. While true legislation is not enacted at the universe headquarters, there do function on Salmington a variety of advisory and research assemblies, variously constituted and conducted in accordance with their scope and purpose. Some are permanent, others disband upon the accomplishment of their objective. The Supreme Council of the local universe is made up of three members from each system and seven representatives from each constellation. Systems in isolation do not have representation in this assembly, but they are permitted to send observers who attend and study all its deliberations. The 100 Councils of Supreme Sanction are also situated on Salvington. The presidents of these councils constitute the immediate working cabinet of Gabriel. All findings of the High Universe Advisory Councils are referred either to the Salvington Judicial Bodies or to the Legislative Assemblies of the Constellations. These High Councils are without authority or power to enforce their recommendations. If their advice is founded on the fundamental laws of the universe, then will the Nebadon Courts issue rulings of execution. But if their recommendations have to do with local or emergency conditions, they must pass down to the legislative assemblies of the constellations for deliberative enactment 
and then to the system authorities for execution. These high councils are, in reality, the universe super legislatures, but they function without the authority of enactment and without the power of execution. While we speak of universe administration in terms of courts and assemblies, it should be understood that these spiritual transactions are very different from the more primitive and material activities of Urantia, which bear corresponding names. Presented by the Chief of the Archangels of Nebadon.